In this video, I will show you how to solve a couple of problems that are super common with a wide range of the Mini Coopers. It has to do with the uh, windshield cowl and in particular the little rubber lip that's molded onto it. A lot of times they dry out, they start breaking off in chunks and in addition the battery access hatch hinge breaks off so when you try to open it it's just sort of flaps around it's probably been retaped several times so both of these problems will be solved by replacing the cowl assembly which is what we're going to do we have to remove the wipers to do that we're also going to remove the two 10 millimeter nuts here on the lower side and we've got two 10 millimeter bolts as well super easy access and we're going to mark where the wipers are with some tape and you don't have to do this but it really is easy to do and it keeps it simple for making sure the wipers are in the same position you found them in when you put them back on and the covers on the nuts they just friction fit grab them from the sides they pop right off you're not going to hurt anything and the nuts are 13 millimeter loosen them up but don't take them all the way off you're going to leave them on to protect the threads so that when you tap it with a hammer while keeping an upward pressure from behind, they come right off easily. Nothing gets harmed. So we're going to do the same on the driver's side. And once we've got the wipers removed, we can move on to removing the windshield bolts. Again, these are 10 millimeters. There's only two of them. And then we've got the lower nuts. They are also 10 millimeter. First, we'll unclip that washer hose, get the first nut off, and now both the nuts are off, we can pull off the weather strip. It just lifts straight up. Again, you're not going to hurt anything. We'll put that back when we're done. Now this sticks a little bit. This is the passenger side cowl, and you can see the rubber is really brittle. You break off another piece here, but there's a uh, alignment strip that attaches to both the cowls. And you can see it's still attached to the driver's side. It just snaps on underneath. I think they call it a seal strip. Anyway, uh, this one's in good shape, so we're gonna hang on to it. But uh, you know, there will be some links magically appearing in the video description if you need to order uh, another strip. On most parts diagram, the seal strip is numbered three. I've got it highlighted for you. This is the cocooned cowl as it showed up. For shipping, this is the new cowl unwrapped. It's got a beautiful rubber lip on it. And uh, also has a much nicer battery door. It's, it's still hinged with plastic, but it's got a better seal material on there. Slight upgrade. It's nice to see that. Snaps shut very tight. And we're gonna have to transfer that alignment strip, the seal strip from the old one to the new in great shape so we are going to reuse it but you can order a new one of those as well sometimes it comes in a set of three but in this case we were able to just order the left and the right cowl now that strip is pretty dirty so we're going to wipe that off in fact there's no shame in taking the opportunity while you have access to just cleaning up everything the underside of the windshield uh, the battery chamber is easier to get to just clean all that up now we're ready to put the driver's side back on and you can see the push tabs. So try to keep track of where those are. So when you're snapping it down, you'll land in the right spot. But if you forget, just lay the old one down next to it and use it as an example. So you can see where all the push tabs go in. You can hear them snap into place. This thing's just molded plastic. So it might be a little bit warped in places, but it should lay down pretty well. You'll notice on the windshield side it's it's riding a little bit high but when we put the bolt in it presses down nicely actually looks real good once you tighten things down and we'll put the nut on and we'll snap our washer hose back in place check the brake fluid hatch looks good now this alignment strip uh, it's going to hook right on that ridge on the passenger side cowl so first we'll lay things down so it's almost in place and what i found to be very useful is i just got my hand underneath that alignment strip and then you'll see me just sort of follow it along make sure it snaps in place all the way to the outer edge 
and you can hear it snap as I press it down. And that keeps things nicely aligned against the windshield. Now we can push our push tabs in. That yeah, looks good. We put our 10 millimeter nut on. And same thing on this side. Plastic is riding a little bit high on the windshield, but as we tighten down the bolt, it presses down nicely. And we can put the weather strip back on. Weather strip has little dog ears on the ends. You want to make sure those go to the outside. This one's in good shape. And we can get our wipers back in using our alignment tape. Tighten down the 13 millimeter nut and put the protective cover back on. Just snaps in place. Passenger side's a little bit easier. We can get a ratchet on there so it goes a little faster. Close our battery hatch. Close the hood. Pull the tape off. And this was a very good repair. Big upgrade from the original. And if this helped you guys out, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And to help out anyone else trying to install these, please do share this video. Thanks for watching.